U.S. Border Patrol has had 115,000 immigrant encounters on the Texas border in just August alone. And the number in July was even higher. Six News reporter Andrew Moore spoke to a local state representative and a LULAC today about the cause of the issue and how it could be addressed. He joins me now in the Six Newsroom. Hey, Andrew. Yeah, local Texas Representative Hugh Shine was in Eagle Pass this week to learn more about the border situation and how it could be improved. And LULAC has also been dealing with uh, these issues. Both wanted to see an improvement at the federal level when I spoke with them today. We've had almost 2 million apprehensions in right. the last 12 months. Is it's huge. U.S. Border Patrol agents on the Texas border have encountered more than 100,000 migrants every month for the last six. That's according to the Texas Tribune. State Representative Hugh Shine visited Eagle Pass earlier this week. He found out some migrants are actually being encouraged to move by other U.S. citizens. You've got families in Chicago and New York and Boston and Northeast uh, cities that are sanctuary cities. They're sending money to family members in Venezuela uh, and Colombia. Those individuals then try to make it to the border to claim asylum. At the same time, you still have many people trying to cross illegally or even working for cartels. And the cartels have gotten smarter about the process and they are moving their operations up and down the border depending on how much resistance they find from DPS. Shine says the federal government needs to do more to provide help, and he supports the Texas governor's actions so far. But LULAC Texas State Director Rudolfo Rosales says he does not appreciate how governors are busing migrants. Dealing with it state by state, with one governor versus another governor over ideology, this ain't gonna cut it. Rosales says he wants to see a comprehensive federal plan to deal with the issue and immigration reform is the only way to do this. He also said he wants to make it possible for these refugees to contribute to the economy instead of just taking government aid. A work visa would put them in the economy right now. They'd be working right now. They'd be paying taxes and Shine told me he feels the Biden administration is currently actually downplaying the issues at the border. He says it absolutely needs to be better secured than it already is right now. Chris? The funny part is the story you're doing today has been debated for decades in America. Andrew Moore, thank you for that update. All right.